So last time we had seen single responsibility principle. Now let's see open closed principle. Okay, we'll take the same example. So there is uh, this. There was this car example, right? We had this car class. So we have, we know right for each responsibility we'll uh, define a new class. So we can take one of the class. Let's say inquiry. Now in inquiry we have this constructor where we are storing the getting the email name and email. Now we are storing it to database. Save data to database. So let's suppose we'll just put a console dot log. To know that this is getting executed so here we are printing name email are getting saved to db right now what if there is a new feature comes in like saving this data to a file so that's a completely different or new feature coming into picture right but now according to open closed principle we should not change the existing class if we will change the existing class it is more likely we will get bugs because this is a tested code right so in that case what we'll do in that case we'll extend the existing class right so what we'll do here is we'll take another class let's say enquiry file okay let's say we're storing it to file and here we'll extend the existing enquiry right as we've extended the constructor comes into the new class right now here we'll put same function name enquiry okay and this function overrides this one right now let's put this and change it little bit to file so here instead of db we'll put file and here we'll be putting to file correct now to access this one we have to create an object of this particular class correct let's create an object here we'll pass let's say anchor and let's say email is let's say d at gmail.com okay so now We'll call the enquiry method obj dot enquiry. Okay, now let's run this. Okay, you can see it is printing the bunker email. These are getting saved to file. That means this is getting executed, right? And if you want to call this this enquiry, you have to create an object for the existing class. That is enquiry. Correct. Let's say obj underscore zero. So if I leave like this obj underscore zero object and rerun it, you will see it are getting saved to db. Right? This one is getting executed. So this is the way we should extend a class, but we should not modify a class. That's what open close principle says. So you can extend a class and write your new feature logics, but you should not modify an existing class.